Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will study about arrays. Data structures are classified into two categories, linear and nonlinear. A data structure is said to be linear if its elements form a linear list. Array is a linear data structure. These are the operations which can be performed on any linear data structure. First is traversal. Traversal means processing each element in the list. Second is search. Searching means finding the location of an element with a given value. Third is insertion. Insertion means adding a new element in the list. Fourth is deletion. Deletion means removing an element from the list. Fifth is sorting. Sorting means arranging the elements of list in some order. For example, arranging the elements of list in increasing order. Sixth is merging. Merging means combining two lists into a single list. Now we will study about linear arrays. A linear array is a list of finite number of homogeneous data elements. Homogeneous data elements means data elements of same type. Elements of linear array are stored in successive memory locations. If a linear array has n elements, then elements of linear array are referenced respectively by a set of n consecutive numbers called index set. The smallest index is called lower bound and the largest index is called upper bound. For example, there is a linear array A having five elements 7 14 9 3 2 now these elements of linear array a will be stored in successive memory locations right suppose the lower bound of linear array a is 1 then First element of array A will be denoted by A1. Second element of array will be denoted by A2. Third element of array will be denoted by A3 and so on because lower bound of this array A is 1. So in this case a1 is equal to 7, a2 is equal to 14 and a3 is equal to 9 and a4 is equal to 3 and a5 is equal to 2. Lower bound is the index of first element of linear array and upper bound is the index of last element of linear array. Right. Now next is size or length of linear array. Number of elements in a linear array is called the size or length of that linear array. If a linear array has 10 elements then its size or length is 10. Length of a linear array is equal to upper bound minus lower bound plus 1. See this linear array D. 
lower bound of linear array D is 5. So the first element of linear array D will be denoted by D5. Second element of linear array D will be denoted by D6 and so on. The upper bound of linear array D is 10. So the length of linear array D is equal to 10 minus 5 plus 1 which is equal to 6. It means length of linear array D is 6 and uh, it implies or we can say it means that linear array D has 6 elements. Now see this element BK of linear array B. Here the number K is called subscript or index and BK is called subscripted variable.